Hey guys, Anthony here today and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and overview of the HP Omen 15 inch gaming laptop. Now the reason I got this was I wanted to find a pretty cheap gaming laptop that I can use for work, take it to the office because we're actually making some Steam games. So I actually picked this up at Best Buy but you know they have it at Best Buy, Walmart, and Amazon. I'll drop the link below, guys, for you guys to see. But this one cost me, my budget I wanted was to find something that can run Steam games like League, uh, well, not Steam, but, you know, League, uh, Overwatch, Fortnite, and uh, Play Unknown. So I think, you know, from what I read, this thing can do it. And this one I got is, again, fit the 15-inch HP Omen. This is a 2017 model, right? It has the i7 chip at about, I think it was 2.8 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM. And it might seem low, but I think that's enough. And it has the NVIDIA 1050 Ti video card with 4 gigs of RAM. And what's cool about this one compared to the 2016 model is they redesigned supposedly the design right you know for me i don't really care you know everyone's trying to do this whole like gamer you know red and black for me i wish it was just nice and plain but whatever you know this is what you know hp thinks you know gamers want right but uh, i'm gonna do a quick unboxing and also oh one thing i mentioned guys nothing cool i like about this versus like alienware for the same price for a thousand or like some other ones like MSI, is this one actually has a SSD drive. Even though it's only 128 gigs of bytes, right? It does come with a one terabyte hard drive. So, you know, not bad. And it's actually upgradable from what I read. So you can actually put in, there's an extra uh, RAM spot. So you can actually put in another eight gigs to make it 16. And supposedly, I don't know yet, but that's what I read. You can actually upgrade the SSD yourself. But anyway, here you go guys, this is the box, right? You know, it's actually really thin, all right? Super thin. And um, yeah, nice box, you know. You know, things made in China, you know, like most laptops these days, most computers these days. But um, here it is. So let's open her up, see what's inside. I'll show you guys. And you know, once I get it all set up, I'll make a video for it, or maybe in this video, let's see. But uh, I got my unboxing knife, and again, for a thousand bucks, this is not a bad deal. It was actually $999. You know, and again, you can get this on Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart. And the crazy thing is, like on Walmart and Amazon, there's actually, you know, I, can't, I don't want to tell you guys the model number because the model number is always changing, even though it's the same exact specs. And the reason why is because, you know, many places like price matching, like Best Buy would price match like Target, Walmart. But to get you, what happens is, the model numbers are different, even though it's the same laptop, same item. And um, anyway, enough rambling. Let's open her up. I unboxed it pretty easy. Open that. And, oh, that's pretty nice. Nice packaging. Not bad. So right here. And again, I guess this is probably just a AC adapter. Uh, and I also have a cord inside all right not bad put that back and let's see what's this actually not bad all right guys i mean it's pretty compact actually it's not that big all right actually this would be my first uh, hp computer um so let's see how it goes but stuff this back in and all right let's see hp Omen by HP, all right. That's pretty nice. So they give you this nice little cover to show you how it looks. You know, the red and black, you know, it's love or hate. You know, I don't mind actually, but some people might like it. But again, here's some of the specs or how it's set up, quick setup. You know, not, not, nothing too important, guys. Oh, but one thing I want to let you guys know is that um, it does have HDMI. It does have a display port. It does have RJ45 Ethernet connection if you want to do that. And it has, I believe, three USB, regular USB ports and one USB type C. So I'll show you guys that later. But another thing you should notice, right? I'm gonna put this aside. But another thing you gotta know, right, is that this does not have a 
CD-ROM, right? Or DVD drive, but uh, I guess this is just like warranty information. We don't need that, put that on the side. Let's put this on the side, it's kind of cool actually. Don't know what this is. Oh, they got stickers to try to be like Apple or whatever. Put down the side. And um, yeah, here it is. Not bad, actually pretty light. It's, um, I think the specs say is about 5.6 pounds, 5.7 pounds. But uh, another reason why I chose this one over like Alienware, or like MSI or Asus was um, for the price, it was, you know, the best looking design in my opinion. Um, and also pretty thin. I think the Alienwares um, are a little thicker because, you know, they have like m more fans and more ability to upgrade. But I wanted something light, actually, and thin. And this is not bad. So here it is. You know, a nice little cover, right? Got the HP seal, whatnot. So let's open it up and show you guys what's inside. Put that here. All right, make it look nice for you guys. You know, I'm always watching out for you guys, all right? And um, here it is, boom. This is actually a really clean design. I mean, you know, everyone's trying to do this whole ca fake carbon fiber stuff for gamers. I wish it was all just like brushed metal. Actually, it's not brushed metal, it's actually all plastic, but not bad. Here, I'll show you guys. Let's take a look. So on this side, you got HDMI, USB, USB type C, microphone, headphone jack, mini display port. And then on the other side, you got the power adapter and the other two USB slots, and you got a SD card reader right here. So it's pretty good actually. And then on the bottom, let's see what you got on the bottom. I believe on the bottom, let's see, it says designed and engineered by HP, show you guys that. That's a pretty nice touch. You got the Omen logo down there. Omen, uh, you know, Omen uh, name right there. Not bad. And I guess these are like vents. Pretty cool in the bottom. And one thing you guys got to note, at least from what I read online, is if you guys do want to update the RAM or the SSD drive or whatnot, be super careful with these screws. I mean, they use some cheap screws. If I do decide to actually upgrade the RAM later, I'm actually going to um, replace these screws, all right? But again, this is a thousand bucks, guys. I mean, this is a pretty good deal. I mean, one reason why I was kind of hesitant getting this was because of the eight gigs of RAM, but I read online, I saw some videos online, easy. It's easy to run any of those games I mentioned. League, Overwatch, uh, Play Unknown, and Fortnite. So let's open it up again. Super clean, not bad. I'm not really a big fan of this hinge design. It's kind of ugly, kind of old school. Uh, take this off. And here it is. Not bad, you know, pretty nice. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try typing on it a little bit. Pretty soft keys, but um, not bad, pretty stable. I mean, this isn't like a, you know, I like my MacBook, okay? Right? But not bad, and they got a nice trackpad right here. I believe you can touch this too, but they also got two mechanical buttons. And again, this is not a mechanical keyboard. For a thousand bucks, you can't expect that. But um, let's see if I can actually turn this guy on and see if there's power. All oh, right, there is power. Okay. I'm going to turn it on and show you guys. There it goes, it's booting up. Let me put this up here. And anyways, guys, I'll be back. You know, I'll set it up and I'll I'll come back and show you guys like what I think of it after it's all set up. But here it is right now for you guys to see. Nice keyboard, nice design for a thousand bucks. I don't think you can go wrong. And it has Windows uh 10 and the home edition and she's talking to me right now hey guys it took me a while but i set up the hp omen updated to all the all the windows updates installed steam and also installed fortnite which is running right here right now and uh 
you know, it took a while. I think it took maybe about three hours. You know, my internet's not the fastest right now for some reason. And what's cool about the HP Omen is it has a dual mode, so you can connect to your Wi-Fi. And if you want, you can connect the Ethernet port, which is, um, let's see, on the other side here. Right? And then you can, it basically optimizes the bandwidth using both wireless and the Ethernet port, which is really cool. Anyway, I have it set up for Fortnite, and I just started playing, but, um, you know, you know, I had to use a, a nice gaming mouse. I got this one off of Amazon. I'll drop the link, link below also. But, um, yeah, anyway, everything's set up. It looks, you know, it runs pretty nice. And I have it in, um, I guess, automatic uh, settings for Fortnite. But it still looks good. It's running good, well. And I've been playing for like at least an, about an hour. Let's see what the, let's see what the temperature is. It's about 81 or 76 percent usage for the GPU, and the temperature reached like 51 degrees Celsius. The CPU is at 60 degrees Celsius, and I'm using about six gigs of RAM. So not too bad actually, you know. So definitely can run Fortnite. I haven't tried playing Unknown right now yet. I haven't tried PUBG, but I actually like Fortnite much better. Uh, just you know preference, but I'll try it out and leave it in the comments below, guys. But um. Overall, solid performer for you know a gaming laptop that's a thousand bucks, and also the sound is pretty good if you want to just not use headphones. But I recommend using headphones anyway if you want to play, you know, if you're really into seriously about games. But again, I got this for the office because we're doing some stuff on Steam and I want to play some Steam games on Windows instead of just the, the Mac I got right here. So uh, I'll give you guys an update, but. Yeah, that's my review of the HP Omen. Hope you guys like it. And until next time, take care. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.